Hey guys, this is Young Fresh VN. Back at it yeah. for the third time. In what's the morning to me, but not for Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Connor's <laughs> freshly showered. <laughs> yeah, showered, not shaved. But I, you know, I like left. I'll take what I can get. I left Andrew outside. Yeah, it felt wait. like his weed man. <laughs> <laughs> I showered. Um, I I can't remember a thing about where we are. Yeah, uh, really. I've watched the <laughs> our second episode at least four times, and there's at least four of the views on the video on the, 20, on the of the twenty two on the video. But um, I've I've no idea where we are. I know it's ten p.m. because I saw the save file. Um, but other than that, I guess we're gonna have to find out. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's I, I remember something about sleeping in shifts. I remember that the devil is weak and humans are strong. Wow. I'm in a kid. Uh, I don't know. Uh. uh Kid is that know. true? Um, I mean, maybe it's generally, like, the whole... Th- th- I mean, 2,000 years of literature uh, is all about how human humanity is weak in the face of, like, temptation or whatever, but, you know... Yeah, whatever, but you know. maybe it's just one of those things... You ever, you ever, I, I mean, know, as far as I know, know the, devil's the, name. The, only, the only people I know that, like, beat the devil were God, uh-huh. well, Jesus, Jesus, Martin Luther, probably, at some stage, but we won't mention him <laughs> any more than we have to, and well, St. Augustine or someone, probably... Maybe. Um, yeah, uh, have you seen The Conjuring 2, Andrew? Uh, I, I have not. No, I haven't seen any of The Conjuring films. Um, uh, I never conjured up the enthusiasm to go. I didn't really like it, but um, I was, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's a thing about knowing the the demon's name. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And she says the name, and then she follows that up with <laughs> the, the defiler, the profane, <laughs> the marquee of snakes. <laughs> It's, my favorite, it's the best part of the movie, calling someone oh. the Marquis of Snakes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh Christ! Was you have a thing with horror with po- it's like pointing out weird things in horror films? Like, no. The, the, what? Remember when you said that Babadook had vocal fry? That was my girlfriend. Okay, she well, said it. Okay, yeah. Well, credit is where credit's due. Well done, Marie. She, the Babadook does have vocal fry. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying film, all the same. I can't, I've promised myself I never watched it again. I never to never watch it again. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's long, thin, and delicate. Sounds like me. Bring your radios. Ooh. I love this. They're going out on a. They're going out to kill the devil. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Maybe we'll actually be scared this episode. I'm. I feel. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I was kind of scared you know, of that. Of that. Um, the, the camp, camp counselor. Yeah. Dude, and those three guys. They I all had it. the same face. Yeah, but they looked cool. They looked cool, but they all had the same face. It was One of them hair. had his face on his own T-shirt. I know. Yeah. Oh. And I. I admire that dude, for everything he does in life. But still, they were creepy. They were. Makes, oh, 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 we're gonna have to make another yeah. choice. Okay. Well, who did we go with last time? I think we went. I think with... we went to her and her. yeah. So I guess we go with well, either either. I'm pointing again, as if, <laughs> as if people can see Jupiter, or Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, or right? Neptune or Jupiter. Yeah, I say we go with Neptune and Jupiter because I'm all about the lesbians. So Neptune, Neptune and, and Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay. And speaking of uh, lesbians, Connor. It's uh, it's time for our Overwatch minute of the week. <laughs> okay, what's happening? My little... I haven't played this game. No, neither have I. Just everywhere. My, my favorite thing that I've ever seen to do with Overwatch is that there is a character named Winston, okay. who's a genetically engineered gorilla yeah. from space yeah, that lived great. on the moon. Great character design. Yeah, and um, essentially what he did, well, his backstory was that uh, he was a part of a group of gorillas that were raised on the moon Mm -hmm. the gorillas rebelled killed the scientists and took over the moon and Winston was like no I'm not part of this I'm gonna go back to earth and you know do some good work Mm. yeah I know Um, but my (laughs) favourite with Overwatch (laughs) with a clandestine organisation and my favourite thing was someone who obviously mains Winston Mm -hmm. in the game um, he changed his name to be Harambe's Revenge <laughs> after the gorilla that was killed in uh, Ohio <laughs> and moment of silence for Harambe in the moment of silence that majestic beast yeah <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Harambe actually there like there's this thing there's this, a lot of protests in Ireland at the moment about the water charges oh yeah and so someone 
put Harambe the gorilla and Cecil the lion, the one that was the, the one that was killed yeah. in Africa, on on <laughs> together, and it was like, don't let their deaths be in vain. <laughs> say, say no to water charges. Uh, oh. Someone um, put like a picture of um, Harambe, Cecil, Margaret Thatcher, and David Cameron together, and oh, was God. like, do it for do it for them or something like or, 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 like in memoriam. <laughs> Oh, that is that score is getting better and better, and it's not deafening Ooh. me, so I'm enjoying it. Right now, it's kind of deafening. Oh, God has spoken on an unmistakable frequency. Jesus. One, two of a. Okay, so what uh, are, uh, is it? Jupiter and Neptune. Neptune, right? Neptune? That's yeah, Neptune, that's right? yeah, that's them. I feel They're bad like, about leaving Venus because he's a bit of a wimp, frankly. He's a, wimp. he's a bit pathetic, but you know. You know, we're all about queering horror here on Young Fresh VN, <laughs> and so we're gonna go with the two possible lesbians. Who knows? Yeah. You know, it's it's our, it's our choices to make in this game. We decide where the characters go. That's what. That's hey. It's what? the magic of video games. <laughs> it's, it's the magic of video games. Oh, I remember once I said um, it was you, me, and Pierce in your house, uh -huh. and uh, I I was like. Um, you see, Pierce, every uh, every woman is different, just like a video game. <laughs> and Pierce didn't speak to me for three days. But yeah, it's so disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> we were recording with him the next day, and he he, he like only addressed me in size. <laughs> uh, and eventually, you find your dark souls. And despite all the challenges, you get through it and get to the that end. Don't ever make and this metaphor. And then start new game Never plus, make this metaphor. Which is called marriage in real life. Never make this metaphor again, please. <laughs> I'm going to write a book. You should. An advice, a life advice book. In fairness. And I'm die a lonely I'm death. I'm very sure anyone can nothing. write a life advice book. Huh? I'm very sure anyone could li write a life advice book. Here's the thing that I've been thinking about a lot ri lately, right? Why mm -hmm. are the people, like, always quote, take quotes from authors and things and, like... Hey, oh, this is real, like, insightful, or like, you know, this is how I can live my life. Yeah. When 90% of authors live terrible lives, <laughs> <laughs> or awful people, or something. It's like, half of them are, like, really depressed, yeah. a quarter of them are fascists, <laughs> and, like, and the other quarter of them just are not, live a horrible yeah. life. It's like, oh, yeah, this quote from Brett Easton Ellis <laughs> really, really sums up my life. Are you a serial killer? <laughs> Or a cocaine addict, or a fascist, or do you hate women? <laughs> or are you a self-hating bisexual? Yeah. If so, then congratulations. Mm. It really does sum up your life. Uh, it's like one of our one of our favorite rappers, Killer Mike. Yeah, half one half of Run the Jewels. Great, yeah. great little rap duo. Check him out. Um, he always quotes Charles Bukowski on his Instagram. <laughs> All right, and I feel that's like it's important because like that's important for him to do. Because in order for our heroes to seem more human, they have to have flaws. <laughs> and I think that's, 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 that's a really important part of Killer Mike and other great rappers. You know what's fucking weird? So Disclosure are playing in Ireland tonight, the night this is recorded, which is a Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday the 20th of June. And uh, Vince Staples, another one of our favourite rappers, is performing with them. And, you know, he's been in Ireland within the last nine months, twice. Yeah. Uh, someone could have had a baby and I could have had a child in that time <laughs> and I haven't been to see him and frankly I'd rather go see Vince Staples once if not twice than have a baby <laughs> maybe that opinion will change within the next 20 or so years but uh, right now it's it's pretty I mean uh, no actually like no, it's a I was gonna be like that's a not fair really. it's a fair uh, actually yeah you know I'd rather spend 60 euro on a Vince, Ta Vince Staples ticket than than 60 euro on a baby no, then like 200,000 euro on a raising a child over the next 20 years. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. You just give them a Yeah, you could have sent 50,000, you don't have to send them to school. Give them a you juice just... box and send them on their way. <laughs> <laughs> Babies can't drink juice. <laughs> what? Uh, ooh. Okay, so where are we? Uh, let me, we were, they were talking about, um, Venus. Uh, right. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, right, they're talking about Venus. Being mean. Being mean? Is he mean? Uh, he can be kind of... Uh, mean in the sense that, like, someone who's, like, a little, like... 
awkward can kind of unwittingly be mean, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, I relate. <laughs> Bear. He's a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Harambe. Never forget. Um, you know what? That was really fucked up that, like, just animal, like, every animal that's killed recently is, like, is just made a massive show of in the media. Yeah, that's true. You know, like, Cecil the Lion wasn't dangerous. He was hunted. That's, mm-hmm. that's wrong, you know? Yeah. Harambe, I can understand why they killed him. He looked him. like GQ Man of the Year, though. That's true. No, he was n- n- Nat Geo Man of the Year, really. <laughs> National Geographic's Man of the Year, 2015, before being tragically shot. Uh, and then there was that leopard that was killed, like, in the torch ceremony for mm-hmm. the Olympics mm-hmm. just this, this past month. Man, it's weird. I don't know. I... Every like, time we keep, I hate it's vegans. It's fucking it's, vegans. It's your old people, your old mm-hmm. tribe. Mm-hmm. Um, every time a news story happens now, and like a phrase or something, or a particular event is repeated, I just can't help but think of Harembe in it. I'm like, oh, wow, I can't believe that Harembe <laughs> is losing control of the UK Labour Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Harembe <laughs> sniped from the grassy knoll. <laughs> can't believe. Harambe voted leave. <laughs> Look, you know, looking at Harambe, I don't think he would have voted leave. He he would have been an immigrant in yeah, the country. That's true. You know? Yeah, he <laughs> would have been. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was an immigrant to where he he was an immigrant and he died. A and ma- what did he die a for? A man with no country. <laughs> a man with no country, no family, and in the end, he was left with nothing. Anyway, moving on. Uh, actually, Brexit, yeah, that's a good yeah, point. What about, what we, uh, you said you did you come to me and you're like, hey, I got some topics to talk about Brexit. Yeah, I don't really know what I wanted what to talk, I about. talk about. What? Yeah, what can <laughs> they we like? Left? I don't. Yeah, they left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, well, and this, this isn't really a politically minded channel, other than no. the fact that we hate fascists. But I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, that makes us pretty, you know, capable. voting r- remain. Yeah. yeah. Um I think uh, even though we're not we're no longer we haven't been a part of Britain for a hundred no, no. well, you know, not a hundred years, but you know, for Close. a while. Yeah. Um even though we rebelled and bled to fight to, to leave Britain. <laughs> Jesus. Even though we rebelled and bled to fight Britain, I don't think Britain should have left the EU. Uh that's my um controversial hot take. Is a hot take. I it's think my controversial liberal communist hippie trash take I, um, on Brexit. I'm I was just surprised. I didn't expect it. No, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the funniest thing was like one of the weirdest things for me was like um, there's like um, there's some woman who's like, oh, I voted leave. I didn't think it would actually happen. <laughs> She's like doing a send a message, and then like people are like, making fun of her all the time. And yeah. It's like. You realise, like, people do this all the time. Yeah. Like, people vote, quote-unquote, strategically all the time. Like, in where we live, it's, like, proportional representation. Yeah. So, like, TDs tell you to vote for someone yeah. else as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, like, it's like, these things happen. <sighs> I'm not surprised when people do it in, a, like, a dumb way. Yeah, <laughs> dumb or spiteful <laughs> way, which are basically essentially the same <laughs> these days. Um. Ooh. Oh, what is it, another choice? We got some, we got some drinking. Oh, mm-hmm. half drunk and sticky and sort of paint thinner, sugar and artificial flavoring. They drink sounds like blue, blue wicked, blue wicked, oh. <laughs> blue wicked. Yeah, well, it'll definitely get like three fifteen-year-olds locked, or at least they'll pretend they are. This fine bottle, ro- twenty rogue. bucks. Rouge, rouge. Who knows? R- it's rogue, I guess. Because it's a spelt. <gasps> Venus. Yes, 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 yes. Not no, darling. This Neptune is like one of those girls that shows up at a sesh. <laughs> and like, you know. Wait. Go on. You know, it's just one of those girls that like, she knows everyone there. Mm. She shows up with like, and mixes like, like. Vodka and wine. Vodka and wine, <laughs> yeah. And like. She's telling you she loves you in the bathroom. 
and I'm like, like pro- at like 3 a.m. <laughs> okay. like in like a platonic way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I love you, man. While her eye- while her pupils are like expanding beyond the reaches of her irises. <sighs> And she only smokes Marlboro Golds. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. I can't believe You know, you. we all know a girl like that. If you have any sort of social life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm not pointing out any You're describing specific. so many people that I know. At least... <laughs> At least two, three. Three, maybe, yeah. Uh, and speaking of seshes... Alright, who who's going to drink? Oh, um, uh, Venus doesn't really want to. That's true, we should like, force him. Yeah, okay. Unless you wanted to. <laughs> peer, peer pressure. pressure. Peer. I love peer pressure. I feel like I wouldn't get anything done in life if it was weren't for peer pressure. That's true. Yeah, you know, you've got a point. Um, I feel like all my bad decisions are related to peer pressure. But also all my good ones. Well, that's very true. <laughs> just yeah. all of my all decisions. All my good ones as well. All my decisions, really. Like, I, I would have, I would have just sat in a room for twenty-one years. <laughs> yeah. Had Peer pressure not happened. That's how, I, that's how I feel. Yeah. Speaking of peer pressure and horrible things, mainly horrible things, Kanye West deb- debuted his new video oh, with it's Famous. So gr- it's so t- scary. Is it just like a slow... Yeah, I haven't like, seen the video It's now. like grainy. Fl- it looks like a snuff film. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so scary. Because it's like naked wax figures of him... Kim mm. Kardashian, Taylor Swift, Rihanna, and Chris Brown, who are placed beside each other, which really fucked me up. Um, frankly, uh, uh, like Donald Trump, George Donald Bush, Trump. Amber Rose. I don't think I saw George Bush. Well, apparently, Maybe. he's there, he's there okay. anyway. And um, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner as well. Yeah, those are the, like all the major ones. Bill Cosby shows up at the end. Ooh. Not actual him, but not naked Max figure of Bill Cosby, okay, which well, is gross. That's disgusting. I feel like we're at a stage with Kanye where like. You kind of have to look at yourself in the mirror, <laughs> down a shot, and go, you you are his fan. You, you do like him. You, you will That's fair, claim. Yeah. You will still claim to like him, even though he's done all these horrible things in the past year, mm. year and a half, two years. He's just a difficult man Aww. to like. Oh, bottoms yes. up, bitch. Nice. Nice. We like to drink with you yep. better. It's still you bad. Better, mate. <laughs> she just I'm just gonna read <laughs> Yeah You You <laughs> Your father <laughs> <laughs> The love child of Vin Diesel and Ernest Hemingway That's Now there's great, something I want to see That's great You know I didn't realise this until a few months ago You know Vin Diesel's black I just thought he was his. I thought he was Hispanic. I'm pretty, I think he's black. Ah. I, I think it was Wikipedia. Ah. I just didn't like. I, yeah, like I didn't had. It's very like because he's quite. Um, he's like kind of tan. Yeah, yeah. Reason. Just did not know. Yeah, there's some. There's there. That's somewhere I never expected us to go. Speculating on the, the race, race of, of Vin, Vin Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> I'm not speculating. Mm. No. I feel like he represents everyone. He really. does. Yeah. He's very. Yeah, he like he, you know, everyone. he represents you know very masculine guys with his roles in the Fast and Furious movies. Then he had that cover of Rihanna's Stay. Yeah, and I feel like that brought out quite a, quite a feminine side of him. He's uh, way into Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, he represents nerds. <laughs> he loves Dungeons and Dragons. Love. He had his own video games. Uh, oh, Wheelman. Wheelman. I love. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wheelman's actually not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it doesn't, <laughs> apparently it's not a bad game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Vin Diesel represents. Basically everyone, as far as I'm aware, yeah. Mm. Maybe maybe not disabled people, you know, because he's not in a wheelchair or anything. But you know, let's not go there. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> fair. Um. What's uh, I gonna say? How did you? Uh, we this is like first um, episode since E3 happened that we've recorded. Oh yeah. Is there anything you like? Well, what I did like. Was Sony's press conference? No, I disagree. No, I, no, I, no, not because of the games, okay. just because of their presentation. I thought that was kind of annoying too. I mean, would you ra- like? What would you rather, Aisha Tyler for Ubisoft? Aisha Tyler this year wasn't bad. Okay, it's been terrible every other year. But this year, just her coming out and being like, "Hey, people always ask me why I do this." <laughs> 
every year with all the love that I get. <laughs> like, that was kind of funny. Mm, let's uh, just go back to but she's not great anyway. anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the weirdest thing for me is... Um, but the best thing was Zac Efron and Jamie Foxx being ripped torn out to of their pieces. <laughs> Jesus, I've never seen so men roast so many so two two men so roasted <laughs> by the video gaming community. Jesus Christ. I've never seen two men so bad at a battlefield game either. And it's not hard to be bad at a battlefield because game. Because they were out of their minds. Yeah. They were there with Snoop Dogg in fairness. And Wiz Khalifa. And Wiz Khalifa, yeah, so Okay. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty certain. I feel like we haven't paid that much attention. I uh, pay attention ever. to good points. Yeah. When she said she you love child of Vin w- Diesel, they are wasted. You should love child of Vin Diesel in the same way. But I think that's gonna do it. Yeah. This episode. Yeah. We'll um, find out what happens if, um, um, when they get Neptune more drunk. and Jupiter's drunken selves in if the next if episode. They get way more drunk. Yeah. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>